What are you having? Uh, scotch egg. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Hey, what's going on? This is Reed, AKA Carnivore Chef, and in today's video, I bring you Scotch Eggs. Apparently, these little flavor bombs are typically used for picnics, which is just a weird thought to fathom. So, how about I show you how to make three different versions, according to the meal of the day, of what people in Britain called the least like food there. How about we get started? The first one up is a breakfast one, and is the most straightforward one here. Lay down some plastic wrap, but enough to be able to fold over later on. Place down your breakfast sausage and begin to press it out. If you'd like, keep a small bowl of water nearby to keep the sausage from sticking to your fingers. Just get it started and then fold your plastic wrap over the patty. Firmly press down with both hands until you get a patty that is about a quarter inch thick. Remove the top side of the plastic wrap. This may be a little difficult just because the fat from the sausage is melted onto the plastic. It's okay though because we can patch it where we need to afterwards. Okay, take your soft boiled egg and place it in the center. This one was boiled for 8 minutes. Check out the tab above to see how I boil my eggs. Pick up one side of your plastic and drape it over the other side. Now, pick up the whole thing and begin gently closing in the seams. Scotch eggs are usually coated in some sort of crumb and deep fried, but I'm not deep frying and I just happen to have some leftover pork rinds, so I decided to coat this one. You don't have to, but it makes it a little more visually appealing in my opinion. It did very little in the way of flavor and texture in the end. The next one is pretty straightforward. Lay down some more plastic wrap and shingle on three to four slices of prosciutto. I tried really hard to keep the gaps out just in case the egg yolk decided to break through, but looking at it now, I realize the prosciutto isn't a great insulator. As you'll see in a bit, our soft boil won't be so soft for long. Again, fold the plastic wrap over and pick up the whole thing. Do your best to wrap this up and let it hang out seam side down while we did the last one. Okay, for the last one, lay down some more plastic wrap. Okay, I think you understand the concept well enough now. This last one just uses ground beef. Once you flatten it out, lay down some trash cheese and leave about a half inch of beef exposed around the whole thing. This one is pretty difficult to wrap, but the outcome is worth it. Just do your best to close all your seams and to patch where you see exposed cheese. I cooked all of these for the same temperature and for the same amount of time. I was very surprised to find that they all cooked at the same rate of speed and with my desired outcome. This rarely happens. So throw this into an oven set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes or until everything is browned through. Let them rest for about 10 minutes before slicing into them. Breakfast sausage scotch egg is looking exactly the way I wanted it. Still runny yolk in the middle and jammy on the outside. The prosciutto wrapped one is a little difficult to slice, so I suggest finding your sharpest knife for that one. Like I said earlier, thin meats don't make the best insulators. The egg yolk is completely cooked, but it'll still be delicious. The cheeseburger scotch egg. I can't believe I just said that out loud. This one held up the best and was still super runny. I'm excited for this one. Oh yeah. I went outside to find some scallions in my yard because these definitely needed some color. And I found a huge one with a flower on it and I thought it'd make the plate look even nicer. And there's no need for garnish, but the scallions are definitely complimentary. The breakfast one definitely did its job. It wasn't hard to do considering I used my favorite breakfast sausage. The prosciutto wrap was super delicious and the edges of the prosciutto were crispy, which is really nice. This one is calling for some hollandaise to be poured over it. Mm. The cheeseburger one was definitely my favorite. I'm a sucker for trash cheese already, but in this form with the gooey eggs and the tender ground beef, I'll definitely have to make this again. Well, that's the video. I hope you try making one of these soon. If you try any of these, please send me some pictures to my DMs on Instagram. If you like this video, please hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. It's totally free. If you want to be one of the first ones to see the new content as it releases, hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Stay yaggy, my friends.